tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. It's in the middle of the night, that's why I'm talking not very loud tonight. This uh, animation is so cool and so simple. Let's start. I go to Windows and go to the content browser. And in the content browser, I find under modeling, people, no, sculpting base meshes, I find the bipeds, that's us humans, and the basic head. That's what I'm going to use. You can use any other object uh, as well. So let's scale him down because he arrives in dimensions which are a bit large. And I move him up so the grid doesn't penetrate the geometry. Next thing I'm going to do, because we want to look through him, is I change the attributes. Uh, I could uh, apply a new shader, but I'm just changing the attributes, which is a simple way to convert this Blin shader into a an Arnold shader, which is AI standard surface shader. So he appears gray, which doesn't matter. I don't want specularity, and I want some a high degree of transmission that so that I can look through him and uh, maybe I color him with a light blue just like this not really um, dramatic now rotate him by 180 degrees uh, actually a little bit further doesn't really matter and now I fill him with particles I need to go to FX for that and under end particles I find fill object we need the option box here because uh, the default is too little resolution really uh, when you raise this from 10 to 100 uh, mile might crash it will take quite some time to do this calculation how about 40 or 45 you see I've experimented with it already and uh, this is still now it's done uh, the head is filled with particles and of course the particles fall down because they don't feel the head and since I'm in a nuclear system now with the end particles we introduce the nucleus uh, I can just select the head and go to end cloth and create a passive collider uh, the passive collider command is under end cloth but it applies to all n objects so now the particles feel the head now we go to the particles and here we have the shading the shading has uh, by default the particle render time set to points Arnold will render that as spheres but we want to see the spheres and that's uh, what they look like we could now change the particle size here the default is 0.212 I don't know why that is actually we could choose this number so they're a little bit more smaller now and under shading further down is the color and uh, well we can change that color from well this light green to this yellow and uh, what does this mean? It means uh, the color input is constant. That means it just picks the yellow color. But uh, we can change this with age. But they're all the same age, so that's not interesting. But speed is not bad. And currently they are very slow. That's why they're blue. And they will speed up and get yellow then. Okay. Um, let's see the animation. Now I want to have by the way these going astray particles this is always the case uh, you need to tweak the simulation parameters for that but uh, in this case it just works just fine uh, the particles as you see down there interpenetrate each other that is the reason why they stick to the ground and there's a nice command not hidden at all uh, in the end particle shape section let's close several 
sections here so we see things clearly the shading can be closed now and here we have collisions and under collisions they do collide with the head with a bust but they need to self collide that means they cannot penetrate each other and now the whole simulation changes drastically And what I'll do now is, this is the final step. I rotate the uh, keyframe, basically, the head back into its original position. I just wanted to have this uh, upside down situation as a starting point. So uh, I'm currently at frame 65. Why not um, select the head here and press Shift E? E is the rotation shortcut on the keyboard and with shift E you only keyframe the rotation parameters we don't need to keyframe the, the parameters for the translation or scaling now I go a few steps further from 65 to 110 for example that's about two seconds and I rotate the head up like this now let's have a look at the animation particles settle and now the head turns it's still filled with particles and then the particles slowly fall down and leave the head because the head is open at the bottom. Well, that's all I wanted to show you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.